Hi folks, another small information on how to make G-code from a good CAM system. This time it's SheetCam, I will like to show you here it's all about. It's the newest version at that time. It's almost free for Linux and it's not expensive on Windows. The free the test file will produce only 250 G code lines. And I will now show how to put a small G code. A little bit more information here on the machine, that's the, all the important thing. You can choose rotary or jet cutting. You can use post processors here, yeah, there are 150 in. And you yeah, almost a hyper term is now inside here yeah. scroll up and scroll down to Mach 3 maybe here you see a lot of Mach 3 in, uh, inside course a uh, lot of users use that I'm on Linux CNC I will stay with THC uh, torch height control and G4 for my system. You have the table size, where's the table zero, table white. So where to start? Always it's a DXF recommended system. I will you don't have to use new jobs or so just import your DXF. The other system will change automatically. Where is the the, the original? I always use drawing origin, of course that's the best thing to do. Don't import points and we agree. Now you see the part is placed on the edge of the table, not where else. Of course I recommend it, I said it, G54 zero is always here. It's the machine zero G53 that is shown. But am they actually working? You set, you, you place your sheet, wherever you are on the table of the machine, and make your G54 zero maybe here on the side. As you see, it all it recognized outbound and inbound contours. I only have one layer. You can make the if you have more than or a critical system you can make two layers and say that's out and that's in but I have only one here I have the tool it's a one millimeter curve white and uh, here are the delays for the plasma system I will now move a little up here and here's the operation I hit this it recognized the red one, the red line is here, the important thing is uh, outside on layer 0 with the tool and maximal chain length that is uh, if there are small parts it will chain them together. I arc inside and I arc out from the part. I will hit here just OK and immediately see a result. If this turns the, the operation here turns red or yellow, there's something wrong. You can hit it and see what is actually wrong. The best thing, I will now move down once more, of course we only need to put it here, you see, we can tilt it. Here you can get it back with the, let's say, left mouse button, oh, it's zoomed in, yes, here. Uh, let's get a better view yeah, here. You see it's not actually, it's okay, it's a good key, key code uh, pass as it's shown, but you can change it here. The second icon will set you here, let's do it that way, that way, that way. It moves as you see. And if you get this red, that you see here, there, there are uh, sequence numbers if you get uh, uh, up there 
right mouse click quick sequencing it says it has 11 contours in contour number one should be I would say that one yes we want to change it first one second one third one fourth yes five let's move uh, over there six let's say seven eight nine ten and eleven is the outbounds so you can make a quick numbering or a quick sequence that gives you a better G code as you like so that's almost what we have done the best part is here you can see you can show let's make the curve white for letters you will see here if it is a E or let's say a G and uh, it breaks something out you can see here how actually the part is melt with the curve white here the button to the right the green one gives you the G code let's say here we cut this one and there we have our G code no fault no errors and that's it for today I will no, not show you the G code in detail or should I uh, no I have to do something so let's see if you have information just write me email or come to the IRC channel uh, it's on Freenode Linux CNC join our company there are 140 people there that will help you so have a nice milling day and see you wherever we are. Bye.